28th, 2010. It's the Muddy Roots Music Festival. We are in front of the band Turley. This is the first time we got here. This is the first official day of my shoot with Turley. For real? We'd be out uh, getting ready for practice and just be hot as hell. And, you know, in the summer there in training camps, and they, you know, every coach would say some shit about, it's better in the real world, you know? Better in the real world. Wait till you guys get out in the real world. I mean, the real world, shoot, you got sick days, you got, uh, you can be late, you know? Um, you know, you might get fired, you might not. NFL, you're late, you get fined thousands of dollars. Uh, you don't get sick days, you know. You're, if you're sick, you better be really sick. And then they might just stick you in the closet, you know, while they're practicing, you know, or have you over on the side, on the, on the you know, Stairmaster or the bike sweating it out, you know. Um, if you're really sick, they might send you home. But you better get your ass in there so that they can see that you're sick. You know, they got to make sure of that. Um, and then being accountable, you know, being on time for meetings, being accountable on the field to your teammates, to your fellow workers. There's nothing like that in the workplace out here, in the real world, you know. Everybody goes to work and they got their jobs that the majority of people don't really appreciate or really want. Um, it's not what they want to do. It's not how they want to live. And, you know, they're not making the money they want to make. And whatever it is, you know. Things happen for reasons Never seem to be quite fair Once you left Kansas City, what was it like for you, say your first year out? You know, you're not ready to get back to the real world. I mean, you've been in it for so long, you know? I mean, that's, I think, you know, the other military uh, correlation here. You, you, you take guys from a situation where it was so primitive, you know? I mean, especially like back in the day, like Vietnam, guys having such a hard time coming back to the world and, you know, getting back into the, the swing of things. It was just weird because you'd been over there for so long. This wasn't the real world. This was the world you didn't want to be in. And that's, I think it is for most football players. The real world is a world that we don't want to be in. I can't tell you how I feel. There's, uh, you know, a separation of, of people, you know, and, and what you've accomplished. NFL, or you got a great family, you know, and you're nine to five, but you're just great dad and you're a great husband, and you've got the world in the palm of your hand because you've got your family and everything's great. You know, I don't, th I don't. I mean, some people might say, well, I'd take the NFL over that any day. You know, for me, it's always just been about being passionate about life, doing what I want to do. Um, and not caring really what people think. I mean, as long, if I could just find something that I can do that I enjoy to take up my time, fuck you, yeah, the real world's awesome. If you have the mindset like I have to go out and accomplish these goals, nobody else is trying to do it, you know? I mean, yeah, in music, there's a lot of people trying to do that, but the separation between those people and, and me my, my determination and my desire and the things I know how to get there, because I've already done it. I'm already at that level. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm at that level mindset-wise of any of these big musicians out there. I don't care how many records you sold. I've played in front of 80,000 people before. I've had 80,000 people chanting my name in a stadium. That's the pinnacle. I don't care how much money you made. I don't give a shit about money. So if I don't care about money, you know, that goes back to my confidence of where I'm going, where I'm trying to be with this thing.